Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Heroes Spirits. I, <laughs> don't laugh, I was sitting on the toilet today, as one does, and all of a sudden I had an idea, and it's a great idea. We all know that that's one of the best places to have good ideas when it comes to solving puzzle games. Um, so, somewhere over here, and I don't remember exactly where, and so one of the first things I need to do is just kind of find the where once again. It was near the upper left of this area, but I don't remember if I'm already at the top of this area here. It seems like maybe I am. Yeah, this definitely feels like it's pretty near the top. And there's a clock here, and that might be important to me, so let's actually notice where that is. Okay, so from this save point, if I go straight up here and then go to the left, I'll hit the clock. And I might want that... Oh! There's a treasure right here. Might want that at some point. Then I'll have to head down a little bit. So, there was a guy. The Shrine Sealed Forever and Verdant Coast Foothills. North part, Deadly Guy Guards Green Gem. I'm reading from my notes here. I don't remember exactly where he was. Uh, he wasn't like in this house, was he? I had to, like, walk around some area in order to get there. Let me take a moment to find exactly where that is once again. But it occurs to me, the reason that I want to look for him, is that I believe I've learned that I could kill him if I had a gold sword. Because a gold sword makes guys who normally would insta-kill me, who have skulls above their head, become killable. And so that is the goal. That's what I want to do. Um and then get inside and get the green gem and see what that is and something something dark side this is it i found the room and the slimes run from me so that's good now how do i get there i guess i have to go around this way yeah and then around this way yeah okay there's the dude who i want to kill I have to make it here with the gold sword in order to be able to kill him. So I have to really learn this route so that I can do it without encountering any other enemies who would take away my gold sword. And we'll also do a little bit of work looking around here just to make sure there isn't like a gold sword like hiding somewhere in a corner where I could use it nearby. Okay, but I've got some sense of where I am and so I think I can work through this. Hey, I found a P-Coin. This is not what I was looking for. I was trying to find a gold sword that's near the start portal or any one of the sanctuary portals. And I'm currently not succeeding. I can't remember what's nearby right now. Okay, I found a gold sword. I know how to get back to it again in the future. So now what I want to do is find the right person again who is over here I think um, and then find the way to the left which I think is this way oh here's a clock which is very fortunate because otherwise I would have just run into you and I've somehow gone the wrong way but let's see if I can just kind of rescue it miraculously over here um, this might be the right spot I think this is the right spot, and the clock might have just saved me again there. So I still have my gold sword, and I think, yes, I've approached the building, and I don't think there are any other monsters over here. So I think we're going to be able to do this. Now, I just heard a slime, so that's worrisome, but the slime will run from me. So hopefully we won't encounter it. I'm going to go slowly so I don't overtake it by accident if it's somewhere down here. Okay, moment of truth. I've got a gold sword. Neat. You are not ready for this place. Uh-oh. I'm gonna do it. Alright, I have a green gem. It looks like there might be like a hole in the wall for four green gems if I walk up to one. Yeah, it places it. Alright. So I need to find four green gems in order to unseal the shield shrine. And so this is just the first of many steps. Of course it is. I was hoping it was gonna be something amazing, 
and instead it's just leading to something else. Oh, what is this? Have I been here any time recently? Uh, I would need water walking to do anything here. Uh, correct? Correct. All right. Um, okay, well, that's one mystery. Solved is the wrong word, but like started. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me make some notes about that and we'll figure out what we're doing next. Okay, next on my list, I want to return to the Molten Cavern. And this time, yeah, go really searching uh, for all, oh wow, for all the hidden places that could be here. Okay, we saw this much earlier, and so now I can get over there. But apparently there was like a secret right here at the beginning if you could go through the lava. And that's pretty great. Does it lead anywhere good? It might just be a shortcut kind of like down through all this. Uh, and then the next one that I take is like down... I thought it was down here. Like right here? Here it is. Okay, so this connects to like the next secret over. And then one of these... yeah, it just goes out into a place. I've been here a number of times before, but apparently not collected that. Because there are always too many directions to go. Okay, I'm still doing this a little too haphazard. But there's going to be a bunch of loot here that I've seen but not been able to collect before. And so I'm going to try to collect it now. Here's another one of these boxes. Great. I'll take a heart. I could use a number of those. I don't know that I've been down here. Uh, this is North of London Lava Pools again. Is this the one that has the door? Yeah, I've been over here. Okay. So I do know this place. Uh, here's a gold key, so that's good. Just keep looking around for more loot. A uh, bunch of fireballs. Guess what? I'm going to stop time and avoid you guys. Still have yet to find all the treasure boxes. Here's a key for me. Hooray. Let's take advantage of our time stop. See as much of this world as we can. Quickly. Uh, what's over here? Uh, a place in North London that I wouldn't have been able to get to before. Oh, this is just that same other exit. <laughs> All right, just around the corner from it. Fair enough. Um, have I been up here? Probably not thoroughly. Uh, no, I think I did visit this. Yeah, this is familiar, and this is actually kind of near the beginning. Does this head up to that other exit, maybe? I can't remember right now. The one that has a very symmetric pool at the end of it. It might. We'll take a look at it in a little bit. And I'm pretty sure there's at least one other treasure up here that I left behind. This is what I was thinking of. So this place, um, I think, leads me to... It's also North London Lava Pools, but right, I wasn't able to walk through here before. So is any of this familiar or unfamiliar or anything? I think this is familiar. And is not something new to me, sadly. I'll do a little bit of walking around, but then I'll probably circle back. There's another heart, that's nice. All right, let's go back through here and see what else we can find down this way, maybe? Pretty sure there's at least one thing that I know I left behind. But where was it? I kind of knew the way from the original start, which I think is down here, actually. Is this the original way in? Yes, because there's a save point over here. Mm, maybe not. Ah, this place is... well, this place. This whole game is enormous. I did not expect it to be as large as it is when I started the game. Hey, there's a treasure. Right, this level 90 guy, I remember him harassing me earlier. Here's the save point I was thinking about. So here's where we originally walk in. 
And so I found a secret passage on the left. I wonder if there's one to be found anywhere on the right. Doesn't appear so. And was there anywhere to the north? Also, apparently no. And the other entrance was right there, yeah. Don't know if those are gonna be important or not. So I guess I just came from around there, and so... I'm gonna cycle around on my own. I think I might have picked up all the treasure boxes now, so I'm gonna try to make it back to the question mark brick, which tells me if I got all the treasure boxes or not. We're up to 171 of them at this point. Yikes, that's a lot of treasures. Oh, here's a P-Coin. I still wonder if those respawn. Oh, and here's a treasure box. Okay. I've clearly done a very bad job of trying to be thorough in this place. Or maybe both of those are... No. The treasure boxes can't respawn at the question mark box. Tells... Oh, look at all these treasure boxes. They're everywhere. I saw another one, so let's go back to it. Okay, so there's like whole section... Oh! Whole sections down here that I've never been to. It would appear. Yeah. Everything about this game is enormous. Oh, it's a portal coin. Nice. Uh, if I get five more of those, I might be able to open up the Otherworld portal from the uh, Sanctuary side. And get to a new Otherworld place, maybe? I think I just came through here recently. Hmm. Ooh, fireball. Uh, let's use my shield to destroy the fireball and then go pick up another shield. Here's the question mark. I've yet to find all of them in this region. Okay, so there's still more. Can I tell where the fireballs are coming from? Or are they just like enemies who spawn off screen? That's a possibility. Yeah, I... I have not been, oh gosh, thorough about trying to find, yeah, these back secret passages. This is almost symmetric to the one on the other side, possibly. Well, no, this one's a little bit more regular. Oh, and it just leads over here again. This is where I think it is, right? Yeah. All right, so there's a secret passage there. All right, um... I don't even know what to do with the treasure boxes, so maybe not collecting all of them is no big deal. The issue is, what am I gonna do next? Uh, so let's take a look at my to-do list. Rewalk Molten Cavern, pick up some loot. I'm doing that right now. I might be done with that shortly. Where else is lava? I still don't remember other places I've seen lava. Uh, so that I can take advantage of my lava charm. Oh, I just saw a box over here. So that's something I need to do. Um, speak to guy in early South Mutterburn uh, who originally spoke about the blue key. That's something I need to do. I now have the blue key in my possession, so his NPC dialogue will probably change, and so I want to find out about that. Um, so I should totally do that. So that's definitely on my to-do list. When I get 10 portal coins, open the other world portal. I just said that a minute ago. Uh, where did this go? It goes down into this section. What about the left over here? Um, this also goes down into this section. This goes down to this section is not very helpful commentary. I mean, you're kind of seeing it on the screen. I know some people, like me, also sometimes listen to these videos more than they watch them. So, apologies for the non-useful, nondescript commentary. Kill the guy with the gold sword, yes. And sadly, that's the end of my list. Uh, let's look back through here. Uh, where was it? It's right here. Yeah, so in this zone... Okay, there's the fireball who I'm gonna go ahead and kill. Grab the shield. There's another fireball who I'm gonna kill. Grab the shield. There's another fireball who I'm gonna kill. Grab the shield. Are there any other treasures in this area? 
I don't know that I ever came down. No, I did check this area recently, actually. And now I might respawn some of the fireballs. Yeah, or maybe not. I don't understand their spawn and or respawn mechanics. Yeah, we kind of looked through this recently. Ah, uh, that's a heart. I'll take it. Those, I think, do respawn on occasion. Took out the skeleton with the little glancing maneuver there. Yeah, I don't know that I see much else here. Okay, I'm going to try to find my way out. Um, and then... I guess... Uh, go speak to that guy in South Mundman, and then I'm not sure. You've yet to find all the treasure boxes. Well, I'm just not going to find them all today. So, to get to the guy in South Mundman, I should take the swamp. And there's somewhere over here to go to the right that I always miss. Uh, this is not it, but where is this? Is there anything important here? I don't think so. I think this is going to take me back to the entrance. Oh, there's a heart! Alright, not that important, but somewhat useful. Uh, there's the entrance from the castle. So it must be right around here. Yeah! This goes through the endless tunnel. If I go mostly to the right, this will take me to South Mundaman. And then... This guy might have been the guy who talks about the blue key. You remind me of someone I used to know. No. It's someone not too far from the entrance, I think, though. So let me try to find said NPC and see what their new dialogue says. Maybe they'll suggest where I can use the blue key. Oh, you've been to the red door? Were you able to open it? Okay, you're the one who talked about the red door. Um, Where else are NPCs? Hey, it's another heart. I'm back at the 64. I think now I won't see any other hearts. I wonder if you could ever get two hearts on the screen. And if so, I could exploit that possibly and get 65 hearts at once or something. Probably not. Well, here's a new person, but I think this person, yeah, it's easy to get lost in these caves. Doesn't seem much of interest. And here's yet another way into the, oh, there's a B coin and a key. All right, this is a secret I hadn't found before, probably due to lack of lava walking. Okay, this is okay. There's a whole whole stream of um, orthogonal passages here. This is interesting. Um, doesn't look like there's anything for me there. Over here, this is just the same passage, I think. And did I look through everything over here? No. Okay, this circles back around. And this does too. Okay, so I think we dealt with everything that was there, but we picked up a couple more pea coins. This is making me feel better about the fact that maybe eventually we will manage to get 150 pea coins. All right, but I'm still looking for, I hope I'm remembering the right location where the NPC was that first told us about the blue key. I really thought it was near the beginning of this cave and now I've gone very deep into it. Maybe I just went the wrong way or maybe I was coming from a different entrance, etc. Right, 10 portal stones, I know this. That's the other world thing we've been through there. And if I could get two more swords somehow, uh, we could get through uh, there more easily, because we could deal with the butterflies. But it's been a while since I've seen a sword anywhere. Uh, how about you? You look like you can handle the monsters around here, right. Um... Rats. I don't remember where the guy was who talked about the blue key. Item shop at South Mundaman, is this one of the ones that had a secret in it? I think no! Key coins. Like, I found those before, didn't I? Like, they must have respawned, right? Except for they don't respawn that fast. I feel like there was one of these shops where that's all that I found. And I don't know what the condition might be, if I'm remembering right, that they're respawning. 
I guess let's go through the other world portal over here, which is right over here. All right, and so I still can't handle the butterflies here. But I wonder if having been to the other world, I'm gonna quickly go back into that shop and just see if by any chance the portal coins have respawned there. Maybe I need to hit a save crystal. Maybe something else. Also, do I even remember where the shop is anymore? It's right here, isn't it? Yes. And they have not respawned. Maybe you have to save your game. <laughs> Maybe they're not respawning and I'm totally making this up. Uh, all of these are possibilities, honestly. But it occurs to me the guy who talked about the blue key might have been at the entrance to the North Mundaman lava pools. Yeah. Might have been on the left edge of this somewhere. Since this is where we actually found the blue key, it would kind of make sense. Oh, have I been here? On uh, North Mundaman. I'm not sure that I have, and I'm at 64 lives. That guy's gonna come after me. And this is a dead end, okay. I do have a shield. And I did just save, right? Let's double check that. Okay, I've gotta save. So I can even just exit the game if I lose my shield, if I want to. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to use my shield there. I need to get this guy chasing me. I feel like I've been through here before. Kind of remember all this wide openness, I think, maybe. If I'm not making it up. Well, I ended up in a dead end anyway. Um, how much do I care about my shield? I think not enough right now. I'm just trying to find a guy. I'll probably find another shield somewhere along the way. So, NPC... Do uh, hello, gold key, that I remember seeing at some point in the past and finally have circled around to actually pick it up. So that is great. Uh, here's a clock. It's not a shield, but it's kind of in the vicinity. Oh, gold door that I haven't opened. Let's check it out. It's a heart. I feel like I maybe got that at some point too. Here's another gold key. Nice. Here's a bat hiding in a corner, not guarding anything. All right. Um, yeah, here's an NPC. I wonder what secrets are buried here. Okay, we talked to you recently, I think. It's somewhere near the left edge of this, I want to say. I was originally, maybe it's this person. Lava charm must be handy now. And I am near the left edge now because there's an entrance right here that comes from Tundaria. So I think it was possibly up a little bit. Who was the person who told me about the blue key? And I don't even know, like, they're not even necessarily gonna say anything helpful at this point. <laughs> but I really wanna visit them again because I have so few leads to go on. Maybe it's this person. That's the, oh, you found the lava charm again. It's, did this go like in a north circle? I'm so confused. It's late at night. I had the idea of killing the guy. I wonder if there's a way to cross the water. I had the idea of killing the guy with the gold sword and that made me want to record more tonight. But maybe I'm not up for it. Uh, oh, that's a nice little shortcut. Any other, th oh, there's a shortcut through here too. All right, that's definitely places I've been. Um, this place is just too large and I don't know how to map it other than just trying to remember it in my head. Maybe it was this guy who said, oh, you found the lava charm who originally talked about the blue key. Because there's two people now who mentioned one says the lava charm must be handy. Uh, somehow I ended up back over here. That's fine. I'm just kind of wandering right now. One says it must be handy. Uh, the other one's like, oh, you found it? And so one of them might have been the one who talked about the existence of the lava charm, and the other one could have been the one who originally mentioned there's a blue key, but... and then kind of trailed off. So I think that means that's done. And I think that means I'm also back to square one and not knowing what to do. Fantastic. Here's a P-Coin. 
which may or may not have respawned. Here's a P coin. That's a little segment that I hadn't found before. Here's a treasure box. And then here's the double gold doors that I've only unlocked one of. So where does this bring me to? Frozen Shore. Which portion of it? And have I been here recently? Where does this bring me? This is from the tundra. Right, and I accidentally unlocked the gold door there. And I think there's not very far I can go here. Yeah, I remember this place. And there was not any lava that I can recall, so it's not going to be helpful to go back there again. Here's an item shop in the tundra that I haven't been to in a while. This one does have a secret passage. And remind me if this is one of the secret passages I've already been to. Um, I'm not sure that it is. No, that's right. I originally came in from where? Yeah, the Unlit Tunnels. Okay, so I have been here. And there isn't any lava here. Actually, there is lava. But, can I see it from here? There's a spot I can see it from. I don't remember if I can see that spot while I'm in this passage. Let's go through the little warp zone. Uh, no, it was like in the bottom center. I think I have to be at the other item shop to see it, probably. And then remind me what happens over here. I don't even remember. Right, there's a ghost. I could kill this ghost with a gold sword. This is what I should try to do next. I should try to kill this ghost with the gold sword. So... I have to find a gold sword and be able to bring it to here. So I need to find the fastest travel route to get here that involves not interacting with any other enemies. Okay. Um, how can I do that most easily? From the unlit tunnels... Yeah, I think I can do this. I'll be back in a bit. These skeletons are a problem. I'm going to chase them in a place where I can't... Oh, there we go. He moved to the right. Thank you, skeleton, for getting out of the way. Didn't want to use my sword on him. Um, so is it over here? No, I've gone too far. I want the passage that goes to the unlit tunnels, and that passage is back down here. Uh, farther down. It was actually before this hammer breaking spot, I just remembered. Here it is. Great. Okay, so I still have a sword. If I go up... This is a shop. This is not where I want to be, but there's a secret passage to the left. And then up here and to the right is how I get to the smuggler place. So now I just have to keep my sword. And I need to take the warp, which involves going down here, I think. Yeah, this seems right. Okay, we're doing a thing. I wonder if there's going to be another green gem. Because I had to kill a guy who was an invincible dude with a gold sword to get the previous green gem. Okay, this slime is a problem. Oh, no, he's not. That's why the geometry is like that, perhaps. Okay, so this guy I can kill now. So I've never been here. So this is all new, and I should be pressing against every wall when I have the opportunity. And I think, oh, there's another ghost here, really? How am I supposed to deal with you? I have to find a sword in this area, I think is the implication. I think I'll be able to see the place with the lava, though. Yeah, there's lava down there by the rock. So if I could find a sword, I could kill the other one. Or maybe I could 
from the other, well, the other side, like... Like, it seems like that's coming the same way the other... It seems like there should be, like, a passage, like, right above me here, right? Like, let's take a look at the geometry here. Dead center is... One, two, three, four squares to the right of me, five to the right of me, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, that is the passage straight up. So it seems like I need to kill two of these guys. If I just stun them with my shield, it's not good enough. And I can't find a passageway around. Is there anywhere that there could be a gold sword hiding in here that I didn't press against all the walls or something? I might have to walk across water to get it, honestly. Or have some other miraculous power-up. Or is there any chance that I could... Well, let me press against all these walls, too. All right, I can just kill the slime now, since I'm here. Is there anywhere else that a gold sword could be hiding? Even in theory? I don't think there is. But we'll take a look, because I killed one of the two ghosts, and so if I could stay in this zone and somehow kill the other one, then I could get to below that lava and get to a new place, and everything would be fantastic and wonderful. But I don't see a way to do that anywhere from here. All right, it was a great idea. It didn't quite get me there. And where does this bring me back? Right, this is just the passage in the Unlit Tunnels that I took. Whereas if I go the other way, remind me where I come through over here. Uh, this is also the Unlit Tunnels. Interesting. So this is Tunnels Unlit Path. Oh no, this is the Tendaria shop, I remember. The Tundra shop, okay. So this is actually closer to where I want to be right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let me make a note about that in my notes, so that if I ever come up with a way to like wield two swords at once or something, um, I can do something about that. Alright, well it looks like that's going to be another episode. Um... I think I know what I need to do next, which is, I don't even have... Oh! Huh. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if there's any other places like that. I should take a look around. Um, I don't even have a list of the names of all of the zones I've been to, which I think would be a valuable thing to have. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to go this way. I've yet to find all the treasure boxes in this region. Um, so I'm going to try to make a, like, list of all the names of Hallowground and North Mundaman and all these places, and also all the interconnections that I know of between them or among them, and hopefully that will help me in the future. Um, yeah. So that's something I'm going to do before next time, and maybe I'll come up with some other ideas as well. And I'll probably do it rather than in-game, like I'll go and watch some of my previous videos, and I might be able to see some of my old NPC dialogues, and that might help with some things as well. So in any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon for more Heroes of Spirit. For now, bye-bye.